January 1st, 2017. Growth. My husband had a nightmare the other night that I divorced him. In this nightmare, I said that he had not changed enough, and I was out. He called it a dream rather than a nightmare, but I'm not going to read too much into that. The funniest part about this to me is that he has some deep-down fear that I want him to change when he is pretty close to perfect exactly as he is. 2016 was a year of change for me. I took some pretty big leaps of faith. These were changes I needed to make to grow as a person and be my authentic self. I had been smothering a big part of who I am for a long time by not writing and expressing myself like I used to. I needed to remember that the little rebellious punk rock kid was still in me. She just drives a Mercedes now. I needed to remember that I can be a nerdy accountant who has a creative side and likes to play games like a big kid. I don't have to be one or the other. There's room for both, because that is who I am. 2016 was also a year of acceptance. I learned to be a little easier on myself. I am going to trip and fall a lot, and that's okay. Nobody is perfect. Life is messy and beautiful, and not everything needs to be in its proper place all the time. 2016 was also the year I started to cry. Not out of sadness, but gratitude for all of the beauty that I have in my life. I have a wonderful family and friends who know me and love me just as I am, and that is a wonderful thing. I welcome 2017 because I know that there is so much yet to come. I would love to write more about it now, but as I type, I can hear my family band missing their drummer. So it is time for me to jam. Bring it on, 2017. I am ready.